Hello, I'm James Harvey, the Professor of Music Theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory, continuing to explain the kind of tricky concept of figured bass symbols. So in the first video on figured bass symbols, we talked about how they uh, provide generic intervals above a bass, and we looked at the figured bass symbols, both the long form and the abbreviated versions of the triads. Now you might be thinking, well, what about if there's an accidental? Don't we need to know that? And if you weren't thinking that, I'm going to make you think that. So we're going to take, for example, in the key of A minor, this chord. Just like that. So this chord is uh, a G-sharp diminished triad. It's G-sharp diminished over B, which is actually a diatonic triad in the key of A minor because of its raised leading tone. We'll talk about that when we get to diatonic functions. This chord in the figured bass, remember the long version would be 6-3, but we don't need the 3 because we abbreviate it. So if we just put 6, it would be implied that there's a 6th above the bass. Now the bass is B, that's our bass, and a 6th above B would be G, but we need to know that it's a G sharp. There's a few different ways of doing this. You could put a sharp next to the 6, which always will indicate that there's a sharp, or the more common version is to put a slash through the six. That slash means that that note is raised by a half step. Now let me show you another example of a chord where we would need to add some sort of an accidental in the figure bass symbol. Um, let's take the same key of A minor, but I'm gonna write a B flat major chord. This is a chord that we will run across um, in more advanced uh, conceptual videos. It's called the Neapolitan Sixth. This chord is in first inversion, so we would put 6, and then above the bass is that 6th, but instead of it being a B natural, which is in the key signature, it's a B flat. So if we put a flat next to that 6, that indicates that the 6th above the bass is flat. If you're adjusting that note to a natural, let's say it's a sharp, and then it turns into a natural, you'd put a natural there. What you're doing is you're putting whatever the actual accidental is in that situation. You do need to provide these accidentals uh, for these figure bass symbols if the notes are outside of the key signature. Because again, it's just telling us generic intervals, and those generic intervals are just size. And if the, um, the pitch is actually outside of the key signature, we need to know that somehow. So uh, those two chords I just showed you are somewhat common. Here's another common chord that we could run across in this key. I'm gonna write it like this and show you how we do this, because this is where it gets a little bit complicated. So this is an E major triad, which does have diatonic function. In fact, very strong diatonic function in the key of A minor. The third is sharp. Now remember that a root position triad is abbreviated by leaving it completely blank. It would normally be 5-3, but we abbreviate it by taking that 5-3 out. But we still need to know that that sharp is there. So you might think, well, let's do a 3 with a slash through it. Nope. We don't make it that easy. How about a 3 with a sharp? We don't do that either. The most common way of showing that the third above the base is adjusted, and it's usually a sharp, is just simply to put a sharp there. If there's an accidental without a number, it's implied that that's the third above the base. Here's where it gets tricky. Be really careful because that's the third above the base, not the third of the chord. It's tricky because we use that same terminology for two different things. It's the third above the base. Actually, let me take that chord, let's put it back there, and I'm going to pair that figured base with a Roman numeral. Together, this is what that chord would look like because E is the fifth scale degree and it's a major triad. We have an uppercase Roman numeral five and then the sharp next to the five is indicating that the third above the base is raised. How about let's take that one uh, chord that I put a little bit earlier, the G sharp diminished. This is a G sharp diminished triad. The way we indicate diminished is by using a lowercase Roman numeral with the diminished sign and the sixth above the base is raised it's in first inversion, so we need to have a six anyway. Put a slash through it, and there we go. The one other uh, common form of figured base adjustment is when we have a four. If a fourth is ever above the base and it's raised, 
We don't simply just put a sharp there. We don't make it that easy. The most common way of showing that is to put a little arm on the four and a plus like that. If you can't remember how to do that, like to put a slash through a four or plus or a slash or whatever, you're usually safe in just putting a sharp after the number, but I'm just showing the more common versions. You'll see more about this in the supplemental materials. Made it.